Welcome to today's video. I have for you Fresh Cut Key. And there are some amazing smells coming out of this box right now. I can't wait to tear into it. I just got this in the mail and literally like came in the house and got ready to film. So I'm so, so excited about this. Fresh Cut Key has um, several different subscription boxes. And this one is their wax melt sampler. They have in here six different wax melts. And it's a wide variety of scents. It's whatever they pick out. Uh, you can't choose it. And I don't think it's themed. But it's a huge variety of scents. And then um, they have two other boxes as well. And they're soap boxes. Their normal one, I believe it's like a fruity, flowery, more of a girly soap box box and that one you get one bar of soap every month for $6.99 and then they have a men's soap box which is more manly soap and you also get one bar of soap for $6.99. For every new subscription they send some flowers to hospitals or nursing homes or hospice. I just think it's wonderful when I can support somebody and then they in turn are able to support somebody else. And flowers are just a great way to brighten up somebody's day when they're feeling down. And I just, I think that's beautiful. So, I'm rambling on, but I'm so excited. So, let's get into here. Um, did I just tell you, this box is $5.95 for, $5 for six wax melts. And it is, I believe, $1.95 shipping. Um can't find my box cutter. Oh my goodness. The smell wafting out of here. Oh, okay. So on the lid, there's a little label. The State Fair. So I do believe that this whole box is um, themed around the, around the State Fair. And it says, Hand Poured Wax Melts, the sweet sugary scents of the Fall State Fair from cotton candy to blue ribbon jams and jellies. Mm. So let's start with this little guy. And this is sea salt. Oh, okay. This is not a wax melt. It's a cold press soap bar. And it is sea salt spa bar. Let's see how if I can get into this. Okay, it doesn't have much of a scent. But that is what it looks like. And it's just a little slice of a, um, of one of their soaps. Mind drawing a blank. Alright, that is cool that they give you a little sample of their soaps to try. The first one is called Glazed by the Dozen. And it says, when fair comes to town, I'm always the first person in line to get a hot glaze to get hot glazed donuts. I swear I'm not going to eat the whole box before I get home. <laughs> but we all know the box doesn't last very long. I actually don't get glazed donuts at the fair. Okay. It smells vanilla and very sweet. And it's just a simple white bar um and it is 0.5 ounces next we have old-fashioned kettle corn man kettle corn is one of my favorites fresh popcorn mingles with sweet and salty notes of brown sugar and molasses oh my gosh again it's just a white simple white bar um it smells like popcorn you know like the um Popcorn jelly beans. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Except it's sweeter. Oh, man. That smells so good. Like, I just want to take a bite out of it. Oh. This box might not be a good box for me. It might just make me hungry and want to eat junk food all the time. So, we might have a problem with this box. But so far, the scents are amazing. Let's keep going. <laughs> this one's called The Crazy Quilt Lady. I once entered a quilt into the state fair 
On my score card, the judge wrote, interesting, not in a good way. I never quilted again. Thanks a lot, quilt lady. Oh, that's so sad. All right, I'm trying to think of what crazy quilt lady smells like. I don't know. This is like, it's sweet, but like cottony. You know, like the the sense that you get at the store of like fresh cotton and outdoors. There's like a hint of that in there, but like also sweetness of like flowers and sunshine. Um, man, that smells good. It's a very refreshing scent, very light, not overpowering. I'm not exactly sure how to explain it. And this one is homemade strawberry preserves. And this one says strawberry and musk combine to fill your home with the intoxicating fragrance of the fresh harvest. This one has an interesting smell right away. Um, I'm not getting a huge strawberry smell from this one. It almost smells like a spiced jam type of smell. Um, like there's definitely cinnamon or um, something like that in there. Yeah, it's a very light hint of sweetness. I wouldn't say strawberry. Like, if I wasn't looking for strawberry, I wouldn't smell strawberry, you know? But it's sweet, but, like, also the spiced at the same time. This one would be great for fall. Um, if you like pumpkin spice type of thing, it's more on the lighter, sweeter side, I feel like, than pumpkin spice. That's not as heavy, but it still has that cinnamony, um, almost nutmeg, uh, depth to it. Really good. Blue Ribbon Apple Butter. We think this one smells just like caramelized apples and brown sugar that have been simmering all day to create an award-winning batch of apple butter. Okay. Maybe my nose is just going weird and I've been smelling too many of these smells, but I'm not getting apple butter in this one. See, I think the other one smelled more like apple butter than this one did. There's like a clean smell. A slight apple smell, but like a clean smell. Similar to the cr Crazy Quilt Lady one. Alright, lastly we have cotton... Ooh, dropping it all over the place. Cotton Candy Daydreamer. In our Cotton Candy Daydreamer is the scent of sugary sweet spun candy floss with the delicate floral notes in vanilla. Okay. Mmm, that one smells really good. Yeah. It's like, if... You have a whole bunch of flowers next to a cotton candy stand. Like, it's really sweet. Smells like cotton candy. But at the same time, it smells very florally and like flowers. And then all that we have left in the box are these a couple little worm things. So not a ton of packaging. I love that. Very simple. Very plain. Um, but I do think... The packaging lacks a little something. It doesn't, when I get this in the mail, it doesn't tell me, like, who it is or it's not. Um, a product card in here doesn't tell me much about the company. So I wish that they would add just another little something in here. Um, maybe something about the company or about their other products or, I don't know. Like, I feel like... There's not a lot to it. However, the scents were amazing. I can't wait to put them in my wax 
platformer. I'm not sure which one I'm going to start with first. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!